Next up, we'll stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy, and they continue to ensure that the Dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Freedom copy. Oh. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, four beautiful, healthy mains. Now awaiting visuals of splashdown. Thanks, Freedom. Thousand. We'll start to hear Commander Nick Haig. Copy, 1,000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Haig will be calling out the altitude of the Dragon capsule from here on out. Landing in water is simpler and provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. You can see those, uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining uh -huh. us, you're looking at 800 meters, a live view of Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Splash down two minutes from now at 2.57 p.m. Pacific. We do have four healthy mains really doing the job there. Just breathtaking views of a calm, glass-like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. This is really such an incredible shot. Uh, that Coffee, was... 600. That was a live view from our recovery vessel, uh, Megan, which is stationed a couple miles away from the splashdown site. We can see the crew there using their, uh, their restraints as resting places for their arms. They were just in space moments ago, <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely. 400 meters. This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Crew 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 17, miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Good main release. Copy splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. It is, uh, it is an amazing thing. What a ride. I see a capsule full of grins ear to ear. And as you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation of splashdown. Dragon Freedom has returned home and NASA astronauts. System safety verifications are in progress. We'll report back when recovery personnel are en route. Okay. Uh, I understand. And, uh, we're in section two, four decimal 800 uh, landing response. And uh, looking for your word. And if is necessary.
In the distance, we can see the recovery vessel making its way. Copy, you're in section two for the environmental assessment in 4.800. That is not necessary today. Understand. Raising five. So we will continue to have communications between the Corps and Nick Haig, the commander of Crew Dragon Freedom, which just splashed down two minutes ago off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Dragon Freedom has returned home with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're back on Earth after approximately 17 hours of a return journey from space. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon's splashdown, and they will now make their way to the splashdown location. The teams have been ready and waiting about three nautical miles away, so it's going to take them about 30 minutes or so to make their way and to... SpaceX Freedom, first sure we're in Stable 1. Copy Stable 1. We see the same. It's going to take about 30 minutes for the recovery team to make their way over to Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander, who are still seated and secured inside that Dragon spacecraft there on your screen. The recovery vessel will see that articulate backwards, and um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward and... Uh, the capsule will be placed inside of what you can see there is basically a basket. We call it the nest, uh, dragon nest, where that's where the capsule will, will be placed uh, in order for it to be translated to the forward end of the, of the vessel and for the astronauts to egress. And before that does pl take place, we'll have uh, potentially views of the rigger. Uh, go ahead and jump off of the spacecraft there. That typically occurs when the spacecraft is a little bit closer to the recovery vessel, and we usually get a really good view of that uh, particular operation from one of the onboard cameras from that is uh, an operation that I, I have a lot of respect and admiration <laughs> for that individual that, uh, that does that. Um, we can see that individual now standing in the bucket where the main parachutes were stored while Dragon was on orbit. Obviously, those main parachutes were utilized for splashdown today. Uh, they were deployed and cut from the Dragon capsule, uh, and one of the fast boats, in the, uh, one of the other fast boats of the recovery team, working to pull those out of the water. Now, the recovery team member that is. They're working on top of the Dragon capsule. Earlier, we saw that person performing safety checks. Now we can see some harnessing being placed around the capsule. This harnessing is what will be used to lift the Dragon capsule out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one <laughs> or two. I mean, that water just looks beautiful. We had ideal uh, splashdown parameters today. Obviously, wave height near a concern. Um, the weather is beautiful, as Jaden mentioned, in the 60s, sunny. Great news there from Space Explorer. So about five minutes left until we see Dragon Freedom get lifted out of the water. That hydraulic arm, as I said before, is the mechanism that will lift it. Uh, it's it's quite swift, actually. The the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes. Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. So once securely on... Uh, Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Looks like we're about to get our first crew member here uh, upon egress of the Dragon spacecraft. So 
So we are standing by for that egress. Outside of Dragon, you do see one of those stretchers. This is the expected procedure as the crew will be taken to medical facilities following their exit from Dragon. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy camper, that's for sure. As we said before, it is standard procedure for all of our long duration crew members to receive assistance upon egressing from the spacecraft. We uh, basically help them move off of the recovery deck and into the private medical quarters for their uh, initial consultation with the SpaceX flight surgeon. So we'll see that take place for all four of our crew members today. slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Once again, big smile. <laughs> Aboard. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Eight four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can